as a nurse assistant, it is necessary to explain to the patient why you had to measure the intake and output. You must measure and record all fluid intake in millimeters at scheduled times throughout the day. An ounce of liquid is equivalent to 30 millimeters. All liquid consumed with and between meals must be measured. Measure the liquid at eye level and subtract it from the full serving. Fluids in gelatin, ice cream, popsicles, and ice chips must also be measured. 100 millimeters of ice chips is equivalent to 50 millimeters of fluid. The nurse will be the one to measure and record fluid intake from liquid medications, fluids taken with medications, parenteral fluids, blood components, total parenteral nutrition, and tube feedings if there are any. Measure and record all fluid output. If a urine hat, commode, bedpan, specipan, or urinal has been used, tell the patient and family to call a nurse assistant to check and empty it once used. Make sure to inform the patient not to put toilet paper in the specimen hat, bedpan, or bedside commode. For proper monitoring, instruct them to tell you about any of the following. Incontinence, vomiting, excessive perspiration, loose watery stool, Foley catheter drainage, wound or gastric tube drainage if permitted. Inform the patient that full catheter drainage or gastric tube drainage will also be measured if permitted by the facility policy. Write the patient's name and bed number on a graduated container and use it only for that patient. If a patient is using a urinal, you can measure the output directly on the urinal if it is marked. Otherwise, put on gloves and take measurements as necessary. Make sure to use appropriate containers only and note the drainage color and characteristics. To obtain accurate measurements, put the container on a flat surface and look at the markings at eye level. When risk of splashing is present, make sure to wear a mask eye protection and a gown according to facility policy. If the patient has a catheter, note also the color and characteristics of the urine in the catheter tubing. If necessary, you can get hourly measurements using a special device. Clean the drainage port according to facility policy and be sure that the port does not touch the side of the container. When allowed by the facility policy, measure other types of output. For patients with Jacks and Pratt drain, measure the drainage with the measuring cup. If the patient has a larger drainage pouch, make sure to use a larger container like a 250 millimeter graduated cup. For a patient who has output using a nasogastric tube, measure and record that too according to facility policy. As a follow-up care, get the total of the intake and output at the end of each shift and report it to the charge nurse. When output from a source other than voiding is recorded, take note of the sources as well as the amount of output.